We are seeing a line of the earthquakes along the fissure, or we should say the dike that is at the depth. And uh, these are the earthquakes in the source and volcanic system of the Reckonish Peninsula of Iceland. When we animate the earthquakes, we can see that the latest one along the Rhine, those are the red dots you can see there here. And these are the red dots here, you can see to the right of the image, they are the latest ones that we have, again, aligned along a line. And we can see similar patterns somewhere to the east of it. These are all inside the Eurasian plate where we have the pool of the plate uh, subduction on the Pacific and the Amor plate uh, pulling down this, uh, this direction. Uh, we can interpret it in a different way, <coughs> more convenient way. That is transform faults. Transform faults are actually the reason that we have the oceanic ridges. And in this area, we see them clearly. These are the uh, progenitors to what we see as the volcanic systems, different volcanic system in the Reckonish Peninsula. You can see that here. Uh, they mean that the plates are moving and accommodating movement for the magma eventually to rise. At the moment in the surface, we see some degassing in the area. That is all that we see. These are the degassing at just to the north of the previous eruptions, with two at least two of them. And uh, all we can see at the surface, at the depth, a lot of things are going on at the depth of the seven to two kilometers and getting closer to the surface by every passing minute. I have a video about the importance of these transform faults. Watch this. Our GPS data shows now that we have around 20 million cubic meters of the magma under the sourcing volcanic system accumulated. This is based on this chart on the lower part, that one. But the north-south one also showed something strange. We saw an stretching of the ground. The land was moving in the unusual direction, stretching north-south instead of east-west, which was the direction that we think plate movements happening. Eurasia and North America, the plate boundary is there. And when it pulls apart, we see this kind of grabbing systems and volcanic systems where eruptions happen. This time we saw south-north direction along this valley, and I pointed it in, a, you know, in that direction, these arrows you can see there. This was a strange, what was going on? Now we have this pattern of the earthquakes looking into it, and then we see one earthquake today, which was strangely off the... Uh, usual trend and that is what I marked here and that is exactly on the plate boundary and when we look at the depth of it this is at the zero depth 2.2 kilometers north of the Fagerdesville that's practically exactly on the plate boundary we see it it was a small one this is the Grindavik Rift Valley usually the stretching of the ground causes fall down of the uh, fault lines and the middle part, which is the Green Dove Rift Valley, as you can see, it has created this kind of fault systems there, a rift. This time, after a north-south movement, a stretching of the ground direction, we had this earthquake out of the uh, normal region, exactly on the plate boundary. This shows to me, as a geologist, this is a transform fault, transferring the movement east-west direction along that, uh, you know, plate boundary to the north, which opens up the rift valley, actually. It's sourcing volcanic system to the east of it, practically can erupt now. It is opening up the ground, which first is started by stretching north-south direction, disengaging the plates, then moving, bang, we have an earthquake, transfer faults can move now and stretch the rift valley. The rift valley is now opening up and making the way for the magma from the sourcing to flow in the direction of the east and flow to the surface. Something like what we saw in the latest eruption in that area. A rift created a crack, a fissure, and that fissure practically erupted. We are defending, of course, the town of the Grindavik with all defenses that we have in that place, but it seems the eruption is closer than what we think with this development. The plates are unlocked, and the way for the magma to reach the surface it seems is going to be opened faster than what we thought. The eruption probably is imminent. That's what I think.